Hi there, I'm Atasmi, and today we're going to cover how to build a food city. Now first things first, as you can see here we do have a city layout and I'm zoomed out. The first thing I would do is just to clear all these nodes. It'll take about two, maybe three days to do. But, because I don't have one to show you, we're just going to have to settle with this. Right, so how we're going to start off, if you've got LU tweak installed, we're going to go down here and we're going to click this little L. Right, up pop this little window, city layout. Then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to click Open in Flash City Plan Planner 2. And this will take us to a different web page. Right, you need to have your Flash player up to date and installed for this, otherwise it won't work. And as you can see, it's loaded up my city, my city planner as, um, as you saw it in Lord of Baltimore. And this is what we're going to do. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see there are sliders here for resource production, you know, wood, stone, iron, food, and gold. Now, for food, what we're going to do is we're going to take wood, stone, and iron, and we're going to take those sliders right the way down to zero. We're also going to take gold right the way down to zero. And we're going to take food right the way up to three. Then what we're going to do is, next to add button, there is a little box that you can change the value in. We're going to change that to 97. Hit add. And this will add 97 production buildings, including cottages and it will automatically delete, delete your nodes for you. Right, now as we can see it's making 134,000 woods at the moment, uh, food at the moment, sorry. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to show you a little trick to try and bring that value up a little bit. It's always a good idea when you're doing this to have a pen and paper nearby so you can record the value so you can see if it's going up or down. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to change the add bo bo box to 4 and we're going to put 4 in the remove box. I'm going to click remove once and then add once and as you can see it's already increased the food production value by about 1200 which is exactly what we're after now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing again except we're going to click remove twice and then we're going to click add twice and as you can see once again it has increased the value but this time it's only been about 300. That's 919. And all we're going to do is we're just going to repeat this each time, doing it another time. This time's 3. And again, you can see the value's increased. That's. And all we're going to do is we're just going to keep doing this over and over until it either hits the same value and doesn't increase or the value goes down. Five, two, three, four, five. And there we can see it's about 136,693. It might go higher than that, but I'm just going to let it be for the time being. Right, now as you noticed earlier, we only put in 97 buildings. This is done for a reason. This leaves three buildings for two marketplaces and your Moonglow Tower. And that's your layout done. Full 100 buildings. So now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up the page. We're going to hit the Import Export tab. If you click in the box, it'll already highlight it for you. You can right click and copy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Lord of Baltimore. You can see the City Layout box is still open. We're going to click in the Overlay Layout tab and we're going to paste that code in here. Now unfortunately you cannot right click and paste so you're just going to have to use Control and V, and that will paste it in. And as you can see, there it's there. I'm going to hit Apply Layout, and then OK. And as you can see, LOU Tweak has already automatically laid over all the icons for where to build bits and pieces. Okay, so now that we've got the layout sorted, we're going to get into actually building your food city. And as you can see, I've already started adding buildings. And down the left-hand corner here, I've added 20 cottages. Now, if you go back to the LOU, you know, your, your optimizer, you can see down the bottom here, there's only a construction speed of 700, meaning you've got six cottages at level 10, plus your town hall. Now, this wouldn't normally be a problem, but it means that it's going to take an absolute age to build your food city. So what I've done is I've added 20, 
20 cottages down here and this will just this is just to give me a construction speed boost right <clears throat> now as you can also see up in the top right hand corner here we've got a group of about eight eight production buildings sorry nine production buildings and that's all I'm going to put down for the time being what you tend to find when building food cities for farm buildings especially is that you're not going to see much of an output until they get to level 8, 9 or 10. Now if you put the entire 100 buildings down it's going to take you forever to get to that stage and it's going to take you forever before you start actually seeing some decent output. So the trick is just to build them in little groups. So I'll set the build minister and once they get to level 10 I'll do another group of 9 or so and then I'll let them get to level 10 and then I'll do another group of 9 or so and then I'm going to start, and then I'll start to run out of build slots because obviously I've got the 20 cottages down here. And then all that happens then is I'll move these cottages into the places where the planner says they should be. And then I'll start demolishing the rest and replacing them with farm buildings. And then of course I'll put the marketplaces and the moon glow in. Now, Okay, so in terms of towers and walls and things for your food city, you don't have to do an awful lot. It's a good idea always to have a level 1 wall. I'll just wait on that ticking away. And then all we're going to do in terms of towers is we're just going to add two lookout towers. And all this does, it'll give you 24 hours notice of anyone that's coming to plunder you, so you've got plenty of time to move, move your res out or to purify it before they get here. And whilst you don't need to level your wall to level 10, you really should level your lookout towers to level 10 to get the maximum bonus from them. Okay. Now, so now that I've given you an example of how to build your food city, I'll give you an example of a food city of mine that's already underway. Yeah, we've got one here. Now, as, as you can see, I did the rather silly thing of placing all the buildings in one go. Now don't get me wrong, they're all getting to level 8 and level 7, level 8, but even still at 100 built 97 buildings I'm still only making 33,000 an hour, when in reality when it gets to level 10 it'll be up to 140,000 an hour. So hopefully this will demonstrate why it should be built in sections rather than just in one go. Right, well that is how to build your food city. If there are any additional questions please, you know, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you for watching.